watch this. Bishop, I have three in one, please. Three in one? Yes. Oh, Lord. Bishop, Quickly. during the three-day fasting, three, uh -huh. the doctor had told me not to wet. I have an ulcer on my toe. Not to wet it too much. No, okay, yes, go ahead. But Bishop, I wet it right through. With the blessed olive with, with oil the, with, water. With, with yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. She has what? An ulcer. An ulcer on, on the right toe. foot. On the the doctor toe. said, don't wet it too much with water. Yeah. And the days of our prayer fasting, we use the bucket of water, right? Yes, and you wet, it, you wet it so much. All the time. All, all the time. And now it's better. It's not completely here. But now it's better. But it's much, much Give better. Give us some praise, somebody. Give us some praise, somebody. Your faith, your faith has made you whole. Yes. Bishop, for the Thanksgiving service. Thanksgiving service, yes. I had to I listen, prepare listen. some of the food. I did. The girl said she had some rice to cook. I did two bags. Me and my daughter. Yes. Bishop. I have two stoves, one old, one is seven years old, and one is now going to two years. Yes. But the seven-year-old stove does cook better than the two-year-old stove, faster. <laughs> Bishop, the night I buy a gas, because I didn't use the old stove for yes. three months. We try, we ain't getting this gas out. Yes. My son wasn't there. He's the only person that's fixed this gas. Mm. And I go to bed. I say, yeah, I left it. I pray. I say, if me, Bishop, is a true man of God, this old, this new stove for walking slow, go walk fast. <laughs> Bishop, I make chips to light a coal pot. I carry me table model stove from out to me, mobile car and I sell food. And I set up. The old stove never light. The coal pot never light. Pastor Helen and the girl tell me she want me to meet by one with the food. I was here at quarter to one. That slow stove walked with speed. <laughs> I finished me two bag of rice and meet here for quarter so to one. So it's a power. Bishop, Tuesday I had no money to come to church. Wow. I sit at home and, no, I go in my bed and lay down because I had to pay my daughter exam fee. Yes. Wednesday. I had not a sin. Not a sin now. Right now my mobile, I'm not working because yes. they place a notice 21 days to move it. So you were watching at home or you... So you I was in my bed. You were in your bed. She put on the TV and I hear it all start. And I get up and I run out. I ain't going to the couch because I didn't want to sleep. I take two plastic chairs and I sit down yes. from the veranda. Yes. And I started praying. Uh -huh. And while I praying, something said, call my nephew. And I call him. I mean, he got off in. He said, we're doing. I said, right now, I'm praying for money for paying my daughter exam fee tomorrow. <laughs> He said, uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, tell me how much I can help you. I said, goodbye. I said, it's 52000 as it is, but I don't know how much subsidy I can get. Tomorrow morning, I can mm. know. Wednesday morning, me ain't got no money, you know. I gone with my sister and, and my daughter to the supermarket. My sister gone for buy some things. She gave me 2000 and I go in the line in the bank and stand up because I got to pay this day is the late line, Wednesday. My daughter called me, she said 17,000. I said 17,000, they take off. She said, no, mommy, 17,000, you got to pay. I for, said, thank you, Jesus. For 52,000, my for God. 52,000. <laughs> Bishop, my nephew called me. He said, how much? I said, 17. He said, all right. I said, go by the school. She got the paper. Come my daddy in the bank stand up, you know. My sister gave me 2,000. You went to the bank stand up, yes, you lying. with no money. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. My sister gave me. She said, "There's your passage, right?" And I said, "Seventeen to me, nephew." He said, "All right, I go in by the school." He didn't tell me how much he sent in, but I stand up. My son called me. He said, "Mommy, where there?" I said, "In the bank in the line." He said, "You get the money?" I said, "No, here we are." I sent in a ten thousand for you. I said, "Thank you." I said, "Still stand up." I got to meet seventeen. I said, "I'm a nephew, and there's two I got must make." Yeah, so when 10 plus 2, not 12. Well, when, my, when my daughter come with the paper, Bishop, and she hand me the paper and the money, my nephew sent 20,000. Yeah. And I said, thank you, Jesus. The God answer by fire. He shall be my God. God and answer by fire. He shall be my God. Now, hold it. See, a testimony is about using your faith. Yes. That's right. Very important. Don't sit down there and be crying. Oh, I stand up Speak it. I stand Speak up it. in the bank. I say, use I your faith. To pay me that exam fee. Look at it. I she used to. her faith I and God came feet. through. But Lift your hands. God Amen. made it for me. Thank you. I prophesy right now. Whatever you need that is very urgent. 
I prophesy in 48 hours. May the angel of favor grant you favor. Favor. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. What happened uh, here? Yes, what happened here? Pastor, you're really a prophet. Wow. I remember two years ago before the pandemic, you prophesied for me. Okay. And you said to me, I pray, but I pray very weak. Wow. And you told me I need to change the way that I pray. Mm. And you said you pray for our husband and you pray for all the good things in life, but you have to ask God for exactly what you need. I used to be so frequent in church and have so many testimonies, and I decided that when the pandemic came, I was just online. And even when church started back, I would just come now and again. Yes. And because some people right, right now, they make online as their church now. Yes. So They, they don't know that online is different from in-house. Yes. <laughs> and every time I worship, I would just worship and be in the spirit, and then I will forget to pray. So I stop worshiping, and I start praying. Mm. Pastor, I start praying for what I need, exactly what I need. I was very clear. And when you prophesied to me, you said in two years' time, you will have a testimony so powerful. Wow. And it was November, mm. and we are in November now. Pastor... I was in a bad place when you mm. prophesied for wow. me. Pastor, wow. 2022, you declared that it's going to be my name, my, my year, and mark your word. Jesus. Today, as I stand here, I got engaged. I got my car. Mm. I'm about to close a deal on a property. Ooh. Pastor, and 2022 have not ended. And I want to tell the church, it's not about the money. It's not about what you wear and come in this place. But this is a man of God. I've seen my miracles here. I've testified here. And I'm telling you, receive things that are not even being prophesied to you. That's the only way, man of God. I thank you for every word you have declared over my life in this house. I thank you. Let's give God some praise. Give God some Hallelujah. praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Put your hand, my sister. It's give done. God some praise, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together for God. Yes. Rachel. Yes. This sister has received a thought. She will yes. speak. I just keep bleeding all the time, having tummy pain, back okay. pain, back no pain. rest, keep crying in the night. Even before I come this morning, I was crying and telling You're my crying. husband, you probably fed up of me now. Relax, relax, I easy. Know. Take it easy. Don't worry. The here, Lord's with you. And here, and I keep bleeding and bleeding and heavy, heavy bleeding. I have a family to take care of. I have kids. I can't be in so much pain all the time. It's too much. I asked my husband to come with me today. You ask your husband to come with you? Yeah. Where's your husband now? Come. Here. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Sister, okay, stop crying now. Because your, your tears does not attract God. Faith in God. Your, your tears attract man. Your tears don't attract God. I feel your pain, Sister. Do we have any, anybody has a sort here? Sort, sort, sort. Sort, sort. Do you have any sort in the canteen? Cooking salt, any cooking salt. Bring me a picture of salt quickly yeah? and a glass of water quickly. I want you to understand this, that your trouble is not far from you. Shh, hold it. Your trouble is not far from you. I will tell you something just now. If I pray with you. Because as I look at my spirit, I have to take a look at what's, what's your problem. Then I saw that you were fed in a dream. They give you food to eat. Your organs have been polluted. In fact, it gets even more worse if you're, if you're making love with your husband. You bleed more. Is that not true? Amen. It's true. It's true. Because 
Listen, I'm home. home. Listen, listen, I want to, I want to, listen, I want to hear me something. There's a spirit of separation that the enemy want to, the enemy have planted in your life yes. to yeah. cause him to leave you. Speak to us, man of God. Reverse the keys. There's a woman that gave you the food in, to, to eat in the dream. She's tall. She's slim. Because even the doctors told you that they cannot do nothing because they, def, they can't find. Is that not so? They can't do nothing. True. Because there's nothing there. Yeah. Okay. Because this is demonic. Yes. Okay. Now, this woman, she wants to destroy your home. Hmm? I, I said something just now. I said, I see your trouble is not too far from you. Okay. I might speak in parable. Labade de bada bausha. Sister. Yeah. If God set you free, yeah. are you willing to serve God? The rest of your life, yes. Hmm? Yes. Yes. Mm. Honey, husband, if God set a wife free, are you willing to serve God? Yes. Huh? Because. What I saw in my spirit is you love her, but they want to separate the two of you. That's why you have been having problems for the past couple of months now. It's like you can't, you can't see eye to eye. Always. Because there's a spirit of separation. My God, break it, man of God. Destroy it. Of recent, you had a dream. You had a dream of recent, of, recent, of recent. You had a dream. You had a dream of recent. Like, like, like there was a problem in the house. He was leaving you. Yes. Night before last night, I dream he going. Prophesy, me. man of God. <laughs> but I never tell him anything. Wow. Um, Jesus. You were something just now. Wow. Reverse the keys, man of God. You are the prophet. Jesus. 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 Apart from that, it's like it's like sometimes like when you wake up in the morning, it's like your two legs. Hmm? Your two legs. It's like it seeks up. Like, like the enemy wants to cripple you. I don't know who, who anybody here that enemy is after. After this prayer for her. Amen. God will cripple your enemies. Amen. The salt and the water. Pour the water in it. Do you, do, no, do you have kids? Two, a Two. boy and a girl. Oh, okay. They're at school right now. Don't worry. Sometimes she's very annoying. Okay? Forgive her. What did I say? Forgive her. You're a good man. But she's very annoying. Can I go deeper now? I know y'all like people's story. Guyanese like people's story. Is that your case?
make room Foul spirit. Let's agree with the man of God. Your foul spirit. Yes. Yes. Your food poison. Yes. Your spirit of wickedness. I command you right now. Loser. 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 Yes, Lord. From today. From today. Whatever was deposited in your body. Yes, Lord. I flush it out right now. Yes. Jesus. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Now, check for the pain first. Check for the pain. Check for the pain. It's gone. Check for it. Now watch this. Go to the washroom. You can go with your husband. Amen. Go and clean up and check. It stopped already. It's over. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Listen. Yes, our sex was here last week. Yes, God the mighty man of God, my pastor. Good day. I was here. Is it Gita? Gita. Uh -huh. My name is Gita. Gita. You know, I want everybody to know you're in the right place. Here. Yeah. Tell them. Come Tell on, them. somebody. Tell you them. didn't hear that. You're in the right place. This mighty man of God had to go and kneel down and pray before he come to me. Can you imagine my case? I had a bleeding problem. Doctors didn't find in. What is the complaint? I came here. I go to church, you know. But my friend bring me here. And I tell her the second week. This is a month now I'm coming here. Yeah, no. I tell yeah. my friend I'm in the right place. This mighty man pray. And he pray. And he pray for me. There's no more blood. Wow. Come on, sir. Come on, stand to your feet and give Jesus a, pr a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Speak to us, man of God. You were here last week with your husband. Yes. 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 I was frustrated, depressed, down and out. You know, this mighty man tell me so much is going on with me and he's praying. I told I you, just, I told you the reason why that bleeding was ble yes. I told you the reason why. Yes. How it came. Eh? Yes. <laughs> and I blessed a bottle of water for you. Yes. Yes. And today, yes. no the, Lord, the Lord has done it again. Amen. 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 You, you just come here for just one month. One month. One month. One month. Yep. The first November I start, I could not forget that day. Did I give you any Tiobia? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was bleeding for over two months. Hear that? And it was so much that she was in terrible pain. Yes. Yes. That you could see it even from, even from the husband's face. 
Because your husband can't do, do anything. So. <laughs> it's permitted. Yes. It's permitted by God. Yes. Some of you making your face so. And, and, and some of you stiff it. People want people to be truthful. Yes. But this is what God is doing. Yes. To let us know yes. that it's a miracle working God. He is. Yes. Stop the doubt. Yeah. And let your faith yes. work for you. Yes. Woman, your faith has made you whole. You believe in the prophet. Yes. You believe in the word. Yes. yes. That's why you came. I love you, prophet. I love I you love too. I love you. I love she, you. She's connected. Yes, yes. You wow. should understand this. Understand this. Even God Himself cannot set a man free that have chosen to remain in captivity. That's right. Speak to us, man of God. You know, when you have chosen to remain where you are, God can even set you free. You have to get up and say, I, I'm getting out of here now. This thing must stop. You receive by faith, not by fear. Sister, I'm glad for what God has done in your life. Thank God yeah. for your husband. Yeah. Thank God for your life. And I know that God will give you many more testimonies. Thank you. Thank you. And the enemies will be put to shame. Yes. Because what they meant for evil, yeah. God will turn around for your good. Amen. Give God some praise. Amen. You know, I just want to say one more thing. Yes, I don't have thing. mommy and daddy, you know. And I am thinking, oh my God, this man of God is so mighty and powerful. You know, I want to call him daddy, but I'm a little old to call him daddy. <laughs> but when, but he is the man of God. Oh. He's the father of our children. And I don't think I'm too cold, old to call him daddy. So if I ever see you anyway and you hear Gita say daddy, you're my daddy in Jesus' name. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Wow. wow. Yes, wonderful. Thank you.